today? Uh, to protest um, the homophobic backlash from the um, House um, Supreme Court decision, uh, allowing um, overturning the government's policy of uh, telling uh, LGBT uh, asylum seekers that they should go home and be in the closet, right, rather than claim an asylum. And I think the idea that hide, you can hide that you're gay is ridiculous, and we should welcome we should welcome them with open arms, arms and safety into our country. I was I was refused my asylum by the Home Office and uh, they were like, oh, you can go back to Uganda and live a discreet life, which I can't, because my father has already gone in national Uganda national newspaper, which is Monitor, and um, I can't go back. These white middle class men can just sit there and judge these gay people who like Kylie and cocktails. I mean, that's ridiculous. Like, it's ridiculous. The majority of the asylum seekers are from people from um, Jamaica, the Caribbean, from Africa and Iran and places. They are, you know, it is a racist policy as well as a homophobic policy that they are confronting. But I think we can win this. But it does require us time to mobilize a movement that can really um, make a difference and that's what we're trying to do. I'm here today to say it's not okay to print uh, racist homophobic rubbish about asylum seekers to say that we should send home asylum seekers to a country where they will be tortured, where they will be killed, where they will be harassed, where they will be persecuted. Um, and I don't want to see that in the press and I don't believe that that's the, uh, the real feeling of British people. We need to oppose this, not just because of homophobia, but the, the attack on the asylum seeker community because we are all a part of oppressed communities, oppressed by the system, oppressed by this government, and also obviously oppressed now by this media. So we really need to stand united against it, not just for LGBT activists, not just for LGBT asylum seekers, but also asylum seekers in general as well. I represent the NUS Black Students Campaign, and uh, basically what the Delhi Express is doing is quite outrageous and I think a lot of people should come out here and, and make a stance against it. For them to try and deny the rights of LGBT uh, people and the rights of asylum seekers is outrageous and I think we should all make a stance and that's why that's one of the reasons why I'm here. These are students from Warwick University have come all the way down to London. Uh, do you want to tell us why you're here today? Uh, we're here because the tabloids are always shouting at us and giving us abuse and it's time that we stood up and got back at them and said exactly what we think about the tabloid media. And because we don't like homophobia and we like asylum seekers. <laughs> the last government, uh, last kind of passed the Equality Act, a very fundamental change uh, in, in the question of equality legislation in this country. To be honest, they were because the government or the politicians or the court suddenly saw the light of what they've been doing is wrong. It's because people fought for it. That all the individual cases demanded equality. All those asylum seekers that have gone through that whole horrific process that they've had to go through, demanding that they, 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 uh, they afforded their rights and their rights to stay in this country. All those things have made an effect that it's created a situation where the authorities and the legal system felt it had no choice but to acknowledge those struggles and to make a decision, which is the right decision, but the question is that people have the right to be who they are.